Hey guys, it's gonna be another night review. I want to show you a, a very good looking Chinese fake. Uh, there's a thing. It is Chinese fake, but it's not sell. It's not sold as one, which is which is kind of positive in my opinion. This knife is a is a copy of a Fox Tracker. It's just another version of the of the well known tops uh, Tom Brown tracker, and this is the the army version of it. It's uh, the the idea of the blade is the same, but this is the army version of it, same like a Fox has Fox knife, the the expensive Ita uh, Italian company, or also the Extrema Ratio has the very similar knife. Uh, this knife was. It was like about twenty dollars on in uh, on eBay. Uh, it's from uh, okay, it's from four twenty J two steel, you know, cheap steel, no surprise there. Uh, blade length is five and one third of an inch uh, long. Overall length is ten inches. It's a full tank, pretty nice, decent. Uh, four millimeter thick, so pretty nice thickness, not bad. And uh, it has a plastic handles. Let me tell you. I don't know what you think, but this blade looks sweet. It's beautiful looking blade, you know. If it's just for collection, collection, it's 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 nice looking. And if you look closer here, this design, it isn't actually just the paint on the blade. This is machined into the metal, and then it's painted. the 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 coating is on it, so all this texture. That's actually still itself. It's good looking. See, here's the, here's the, this is the company they're selling it now, the Columbia Shuang Kong Company. It's somewhere in Hong Kong. It's a Hong Kong company. You no, know, Hong Kong is famous for their fakes. But this is one of the knives that looks super good. It's a, it's a good looking man. Good looking. And I think, I don't know about the steel, you know, steel is probably nothing extra, but. I think it would, you know, it would, it would last something even outside if you put it to the test. Uh, this is more of, more or less, my collection piece. That's just I bought it just because of the looks because I would never buy the original Fox version, which is almost like uh, hundred eighty dollars if I remember right. Uh, nice full tank, fits in hand pretty good, man. It's not you can see it's not perfect finish. The fit and finish of the blade, you see, there's a little little step. From the from the tank to the handle, but you know what do you want for twenty dollar knife and for this size, it's good looking. Uh, came with the crappy sheet of course, with the cheap nylon sheet with the retention snap. It works. I mean I don't. It's it's anyway without the sheet in my uh, in my knife case, but uh, uh, one day I was bored and I I just made my own Kydex sheet. If I would ever go out and use it, I like Idex. That's my own homemade sheet. So I just wanted to give you a heads up that there is such a knife. Uh, it's being sold on uh, eBay as a Columbia SR fixed hunting knife, full tank. There is gonna be probably a bunch of them because they have a lot of knives. Uh, go check it out. It's pretty nice. They have pretty nice copies. Uh, you don't. You pay silly money for them so if you're looking just for the nice interesting collection piece there's a lot to a lot to choose from so you know hope you find this helpful maybe somebody is into the blades like this i have plenty of fake knives or the, the cheap cheap chinese knives some of them were pretty good some of them are good i'm gonna show you uh, another one of those good ones in a little bit so stay tuned take care stay safe out there